there, my name is Tanya Rocca. I'm one of the Rocca sisters. Welcome today, here we are at Pioneer Family Pools, one of 14 locations across Ontario. And we're very lucky to have Kevin with us today. He is the head of service here. Um, and he's gonna talk to us a little bit about um, closing your pool. Obviously it's that time of year, it's fall, and we're all getting ready with the, the fall cleanup and um, closing down our pools. So um, we've obviously come here because it's important to go to a professional. Um, we are, uh, feel very strongly about making sure that you go to professionals in your industry whenever you're seeking anything. So um, today we've come to Kevin and he's gonna explain to us a little bit about the importance um, of involving a professional in closing your pool and the things to be aware of when you're closing your pool and um, I'll let you take it away. Thank you, yes, there are many functions and facets of a pool that would be difficult for the average pool owner to comprehend and facilitate for a closing. We'll go through some of those things. Certainly, you have a large investment in your backyard, in the ground, and you need to protect it, not only closing it properly, but protect, protect it and keep the warranty. If it's one of our pools, we prefer we close it, so that if there is an issue, then we have done the job properly and we will take care of any problems. When you sell a house or you're representing a purchaser, you do a house inspection. We do pool inspections. Mm -hmm and we take great pride in uh, looking at the pool in every detail, testing it, testing the plumbing, and giving you an overall report, a status report, uh, with details of the pool, certainly so that you can you know, purchase a house with a peace of mind, or at least know what the downfalls of the pool are, what your future costs will be. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, it's something that we are doing more and more of. We're trying to get the word out there through the real estate group that this is available. Most house inspectors don't have the knowledge or the capability to test the, the pool in its entirety. They go through the house, but they ignore the pool. I test pools for Pioneer, and it's amazing how many times we do find problems with existing pools that people weren't even aware of. What time do people normally start looking at shutting down their pools, and, and, and what kind of things do you suggest that they look for, and, and what are the, the steps that they would be keeping in mind? Pool use and weather are the driving factors. If we have a, a warm fall, you know, Labor Day weekend is above normal temperatures, people don't think about closing their pools until they look outside and the leaves are falling, it's 15 degrees and it's a dark rainy day, mm -hmm. and then our phones don't stop ringing. It's the indicator. So <laughs> it's generally weather driven, and the newer the pool owner, the longer the pool stays open. A seasoned veteran of 30 years knows that they're gonna close based on history. And we'll close pools in August, and we'll close pools in November. So the bulk go in October, you know, okay. from the first of October till the week after Thanksgiving. And certainly, any time if you're not using it in that frame, it's time to put it to bed. So if you're going to close your pool, um, and obviously, again, encouraging that you have a professional involved, but what are the steps that um, you're going to, to look at? I mean, are, there's things obviously you're going to look at before closing up your pool. So can you tell us a little bit about those things? Well, certainly a clean pool is necessary to be uh, ensured that it's going to open up the same way. So, you know, a thorough vacuuming, all the leaves and debris out of the pool, and come in and see us. Water testing is free and we can test the water for you, balance the water you know, chemically a week prior to closing. Uh, and we say a week prior because it, it's something that you can't do the night before. It takes a period of time for the water to correct itself. So testing the water and cleaning the pool are the first major steps. We encourage people when they book their pool closing, if they haven't closed with us or uh, they're not sure of the status of their winter cover, you know, it's like anything else. You're gonna need it the day you're gonna close it. Are you sure it's in good shape. You know, mm -hmm. We have safety covers on pools now that are you know, trampoline like a cover. They support uh, you know, people on it. They're good to uh, keep debris and everything out. But a lot of people still have the older style covers. Mm -hmm. They wear out, they uh, embrittle, they crack. So take the cover out or at least inspect it in the pail or device that you've got it stored so you know it's suitable to put back on the pool. Right. As far as the function of closing a pool, lowering the water level obviously, removing the fittings, the eyeballs and things out of the pool. And we use a, a specific tool to blow the water from the equipment pad back into the pool. It's a high volume, uh, high pressure device. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people trying to do it with a shop vac. 
my concern with that is sometimes the device you're trying to push the water through doesn't do it entirely and you run the risk of freezing your plumbing and it is very expensive to fix. So any last minute tips for us, anything that you want to tell our viewers that um, you think is important to keep in mind this fall season um, when closing their pool um, that would be beneficial for them? Uh, certainly visit our website, uh, feel free to call us, we offer mm -hmm. advice over the phone to help you through anything and if you're unsure please feel free you know, to send us a picture, tell us what you've done, mm -hmm. we do a lot of that for people. Uh, assuming that you've got it closed properly is one of the biggest problems that we have with people. The pools are so automatic now, uh, the set it forget it mentality, people don't spend a lot of time becoming familiar with your equipment. And like Kevin said, you can go to the website um, for more tips on, on closing your pool. And of course, um, you know, we have a great relationship with Pioneer Family Pools. Um, I myself have used them personally. Um, and uh, we highly recommend um, certainly you know, getting someone involved in assisting you in closing your pool. Um, we hope that you found this useful today. And uh, we hope that you get the house all uh, closed up for fall.